Right guys, welcome back into the Golf Swing Systems YouTube channel. Today, we've got a quick product guide to this. It's called Square Golf. It's a brand new, budget-friendly launch monitor coming in under 800 pounds. Now, for this, you'd expect to get not too much, but in the Square Golf app, you get a phenomenal amount for your money. You get a fully integrated driving range, a golf course simulator that's built by the team at Square Golf, so it's in their own proprietary software, and you even get a little bit of club data when you're using a specific mode on the launch monitor. So, we're gonna take you through the driving range, we're gonna play a hole on the golf course, and we're gonna take a look at the club data as well. So, let's get going. Brand new product, Square Golf, let's go. Okay, now our first thing to look at is the Square Golf driving range. Now, as you can see behind us, it's quite nice to look at. It's a new iPad app, so it's gonna be limited on its graphics. But what you do get is a really fantastic pickup speed. So when I hit the shot here, the pickup speed is absolutely fantastic. It's something we weren't expecting from such a budget-friendly unit. We were expecting more of a delay, something similar to the original Skytrack, but it picks up as quick as anything we've hit. And that's because it's looking at a limited amount of data so that what it can look at, it works out quickly and accurately. So at the bottom of the screen in this graphic mode, you've got all data. Now, one of the best tests for how good a budget launch monitor is, is how it responds to shot shaping. So I'm going to take an eight iron here. I'm going to hit three shots, one fade, one straight and one draw. And if the budget launch monitor is able to keep up, if Square Golf can keep up with those shots, we know that it's working at least in some way to give you actionable data on your golf game. So, first off, let's try and hit a fade. There you go, nice fade up the middle. Okay, that's about right for my eight iron as well. There you go, nice high fade. Let's try a draw. Just gonna move back into the zone. I do like on the bottom left here, it shows you if you're in the zone or not. Let's try and hit a draw here. There you go, draw shape there. Should go a little bit further than the fade as well. Much further, that was better struck as well. In that zone. Okay, now we're gonna try and hit a little low one, Tommy Fleetwood style. There you go, a little low straight one. So that test has been passed with flying colors there. That basically means the square golf is able to track the spin axis of the ball accurately enough to show some accurate ball flights. And the reason it's so good at that is this. Now it's a special ball that Square Golf have come up with and it's basically a dotted ball that allows the camera to track the ball as it spins really really accurately. Now this is a similar way of tracking the ball to something like a Rapsoda MLM2 Pro which means if you're using it indoors you use these dotted balls and if you're on a range you accept that maybe the spin axis isn't going to be as accurate as if you were indoors. So in order to access club data we need to go into what's called data mode so let's take a look at that now. Right, now we're into data mode. As you can see, it's a lot less of a visual range. It's got just data tiles and a visual representation of what you've done with the golf club. Now, we're gonna set it up for a nine iron quickly. I'm gonna hit a couple of shots. I'm gonna take a look at the numbers you're gonna be getting access to. Now, so we've got a nine iron here, and in order to get your club data, you're going to need to use one of these. Now, it's basically a little reflective wrap that goes around your, your club shaft. It's not something I've seen before. It's a different way of doing it. But what it's gonna let the club do is basically be reflective enough for the camera to track it independently from the ball. Now, this is gonna give you a look at what you've done to the, uh, the ball and how you've delivered the club to make the golf shot happen. Let's have a whack. There you go. So we're gonna get a nice look at what we've done on the screen there. I'll put this up over the top. So as you can see, we've got club path, we've got face angle, We've got side spin, dynamic loft, all the numbers you want to be looking at to understand how you've affected that golf ball. And it's a hell of a lot more than I'd expect from an 800 pound unit. So I'm gonna get an idea here. So I've, I've swung that as my stock swing, which is about one and a half inside. It's about right for me. I'd normally expect about two. And if I try and just hit a fade here, I'll just go slightly over the top there. Nice little out to win. Oh, out to win swing. I hope it does slightly, it's probably a slice, but I'm not very good at fading the golf ball. You can see how it's changed everything about the shot I've hit. I get to understand what I've done to the golf ball, and then that lets me change what I'm doing throughout the, the swing, change the way I'm trying to hit the golf ball to achieve different things on the golf course. Now, the next thing to check out is the in-app course simulator. Now, this is never going to set the world on fire because it is on an iPad, so the graphics are a little bit limited. 
But what you do get is a really, really easy to use and immersive piece of course simulator technology. So when I hit the hybrid here, so I'm gonna have to hit a little fade up to the right hand side. Let's see if I can do it. There you go. Now you're still getting that instant pickup, which is really, really immersive. It means you can stay in the game. Now we're in the fairway there. We've got plenty of distance to the hole though, 237 yards left in. What we're gonna do is as this is a par five, we're gonna lay up, we're gonna hit a shot in, and we're gonna test out the short game as well. So, okay, now we've got 237 yards in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay up here with a seven iron. We're gonna try and put a little bit of shape on the ball and get it back into the fairway on the left-hand side. And then we'll test out the short game. So let's try and hit a little draw here with a seven iron. Nothing too crazy. There you go, little draw. Should get us into the fairway there. There we go. So we've got 70.8 yards in. Front of the green, as you can see on the right hand side, is lower than the rest. That heat map, blue sections are lower than the green sections and red sections are even higher than that. So we're gonna try and carry this about 65 yards here. Get it up there nice and far and try and stop it near the flag for some putting. Get up there. Carried it a little bit short. That was on me, not the unit there. So we've only carried it 58 yards. So we're gonna have a pretty long putt here. Now, another thing that you wouldn't expect from an 800 pound unit is the ability to putt when you're on a golf course. But the square golf allows you to do this. So we've got 40 feet. As you can see, it's slightly breaking right to left and there is a gimme circle around the hole. So I need to just try and cozy one up there for an easy par. Let's give it a go. 40 feet, playing slightly uphill. Go. Oh, I've left it short. Got an eight footer for par, that's not ideal. Okay, so again, on me, I've left that short. I seem to be a bit scared of hitting the ball hard enough today. So I've got eight feet for par, ever so slightly right to left. Let's just try and cozy this in and wrap this video up on a nice note. Oh, no, it's a bogey for me. But what I'm really impressed at there is how easy it was to play golf. A lot of these budget units, it takes a little while to get used to their course simulator, but this does feel pretty intuitive. So yeah, Square Golf is brand new to golf swing systems. It comes in at 800 pounds. For that, you're gonna get your, uh, your three dotted balls and a hidden feature, which I'm gonna show you now. Now, the secret feature of the Square Golf unit is you don't even need to be able to hit a golf ball to be able to play golf. You can use this, it's their swing stick, which is basically a non-impact trainer. Now, as you can see on the screen, you can basically swing this in place of a golf club if you don't have the ceiling clearance or you don't have the ability to hit into a net, you can swing this and you'll get the same feedback as if you're swinging a full golf club. And that's gonna be able to allow you to practice if you were say in a hotel on a work trip, or if you've gone on holiday, you can take your square golf with you. With an iPad, you can still get your golf practice in. So now, if you have any questions about the square golf unit, you can ask us in the comments below and we'll get back to as many as we can. But in the meantime, the square golf unit is live on Golf Swing Systems now, ready for you to purchase on next day delivery. So now for 800 pound, my review is that this gives you actionable data on your golf game, which is the most important thing we love all the gimmicks and all the tricks that these things can do, but the most important thing is that the data is accurate and usable to make you better at golf. So if you've got any questions, leave them below and we'll see you very, very soon on the Golf Swing Systems YouTube channel.